that book you started during, uh, what is it, N N uh, NaNoWriMo? Yeah. yeah, explain just a little bit about that because that's a new concept for me. I, I only just heard about it this year. Um, NaNoWriMo? Yes. Um, is National Novel Writing Month, and it begins on the 1st of November every year and goes to the last day of November. And the whole idea is for you to write 50,000 words in 30 days. Yeah. Um, it's the most terrifying thing in the world. Um, I started this year, and it's never going to happen. Um, I just have too much going on. It was one yeah. thing I didn't do. I, I still wanted to try. It's not going to happen. Um, yeah. But last year was my first attempt at trying. I got, I don't know, a good 13,000 words into my story last year and realized I was writing a story that was never going to go anywhere. So yeah. I scrapped it all. And I started completely over with a writing prompt with one sentence, and I ended up with the breaking series. Yeah. And I, I'm kind of still kind of blown away. Like I never expected to write, I never expected to write a full novel. Well, the first draft of a full novel in 30 days, but then I right. never expected it to turn into a series in the long run. Yeah. It, it's really kind of awesome. And, and Breaking Taz is the last one in the series, yeah. correct? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's amazing that it turned into a three-part series after that because, you know, one month to write a novel, that's, a, that's intense pressure. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a pantser anyway, so I, I write by the seat of my pants. I don't right. plot or plan anything. Um, I basically know I'm starting with these people, and in the end, they're going to be together. The rest of yeah. it just kind of surprises me as I go. Um, right. Well, the, the characters kind of unfold in front of you. Yeah. And obviously, that's the first draft. You know, that's the first draft, and you're still figuring everything out as they're figuring everything out. And then you have those second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth drafts, in my case, sometimes ten, um, that you, you eventually, you, it eventually shapes into a whole novel. So to write a first draft in 30 days, it's crazy. It's impressive. Insane. It's crazy insane, but it's doable. Yeah. It's doable. Wow. Yeah. So, yeah, that became the three-part series, and I was going to ask you if you had worked on anything this month, but, you know, obviously... Yeah, but it's not... It just didn't, didn't happen this month. Maybe maybe sometime in the future when I'm not focused on a million different things. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Are, you, uh, are you still working on The Real Me? Oh, my goodness. That story will haunt me for the rest of my life. Um... <laughs> Yeah, yes and no. Um, yes, and the fact that I'm always thinking about it. Um, I, I would love for something to come of that, but not actively writing it. I'm not working on it. Yeah. I'm hoping that there will be this moment sometime in the future. Near future would be great, um, but in the future where I'm like, this is doable now. But right now, it's just not. Like, It's not so much a time issue. It's just I don't feel it. I, yeah. I think eventually I'm going to feel it, and it's going to be in me to do it right now. It's not. And I look forward to the day that it is because yeah. I'm excited to write it. I just want to do it right. right. Well, yeah. and you're, you're writing other things in the meantime, so, yeah. you know, it's, it's not like you're not doing anything. You have these series of books coming up all the time. Right. Yeah. So, uh, well, guess what? That was all of my questions. So, I did it. You did it. <laughs> Do you have anything that you would like to add? Something maybe I forgot? I don't think so. I mean, you covered things I didn't even expect you to know. Um, <laughs> so I think we're good. I do my research, you know? <laughs> I would say so. Like, did you contact my best friends? Like, I don't even know how you knew some of those things. <laughs> you would be surprised what you can find online. Apparently so. Right. Just, just wow. Googling someone's name, you would be surprised what you can find online. Wow. So Okay. <laughs> Well, okay, then. I guess that's it. Um, thank you so much for coming on. I had so much fun talking to you. Well, thank you for having me. I had a great time. Absolutely, and I hope that you'll come back again once you have your next thing to promote or whatever. So, I would love to. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Okay, well, Tracy Puckett, her books are available on iTunes, Amazon, where else? Um, Create Space. Basically, anywhere where you can find an ebook, I'm there. An e okay. <laughs> Yeah, and be sure to check them out. They're not expensive, and they're well worth the read. So you won't be able to put them down, I promise. So, <laughs> Tracy Puckett, thank you so much for joining me tonight. 
Thank you, Paula. Good night. Good night.